Hey guys, welcome back to Brave by Design where we talk about all things fashion, everything from design to style. Today, as you can see, I'm wearing something very colorful. It is a Hawaiian dress. It's from Hawaii. I thrifted it from the Goodwill outlets and it's beautiful. Unfortunately, it bled a little bit when I washed it, despite the reading the tag instructions. Sometimes that happens with really rich colors in your fabric. It can still happen to you. Unfortunately, I want to do a video about this dress because I love this dress. I'm actually really surprised at how well it fits, but I want to alter it so that it's a little bit more current for me. As of right now, it's a very long dress. Let me show you guys. So this dress comes at my knee, which isn't my ideal length, but I love the way that it fits. I think it's a beautiful fit, but I think it would be so much cuter for me in particular to be about that length. It's a beautiful dress. I want to maintain its shape, but I want to shorten it so that I'll wear it more next summer because we're rounding out the summer times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this dress by taking the hem up a decent amount, probably a good six to eight inches. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Let's do this. First, I'm going to take a safety pin and I'm going to pin where I want the dress to hit. So by putting the pin where I want it to hit, I have direction as to where I need to take the dress up to and how much of a hem I should have. So now we want to start pinning, folding up and then pinning the dress so that we can create a hemline. As you can see, it's an invisible or a slightly invisible stitch that they've done here. So what I'm going to do is try to mirror that in my new desired hem area. Okay, this is 100% better than what I thought it would turn out to be. Oh my goodness, it is so cute, short. It's very 70s, 60s, 70s um, summer dress. I love the pleating in the back. I think that's a really cute detail. That's what made this dress flare out like this before when it had the additional six and a half inches. I cut six and a half inches off of this dress. So when it had the additional six and a half inches, it just made it look a little bit more heavy and, and not as summery as I would hope it would be, especially with such beautiful, rich colors as these Hawaiian flowers are. So this is going to be great for the additional days of summer. For next summer, this is going to be so cute. I love how the top fits. Just look at that back. I'm sorry. Who gave you permission to be so cute? Little dress. Oh my goodness. So cute. So that's my alteration of the day. A simple, quick hem really can do wonders for a piece in your wardrobe if you're not wearing it or whatever it may be, whether it's a skirt, a dress, a shirt. If you want to shorten it, it's very easy. I did an invisible stitch. You cannot see the red thread that I use, so it's very easy. A little time consuming, you know, you gotta be patient, but it's worth it in the end. And I'm really excited to wear this. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see more videos like this. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to alter. So if you're looking for tips or ideas or you have something in your closet that's similar that you're like, oh, I just wish I could take one alteration to it and you don't have time to go to the tailor or you have the sewing skills, hand or machine sewing skills to do it yourself, do it. It's rewarding. I feel great now. Usually I would let this sit for like months at a time and I have a couple pieces that I've been letting sit for months. I need to get to it. This I literally just got the other day. It's fixed. It's ready to wear. Perfect. So that was a little extra to the end of this. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.